Hello, my name is Paola Kanyo for it. This is City News Daily on City TV. In today's edition, Ministry of Tourism orders the indefinite closure of the Kintampo waterfall in the Blue Half region after over a dozen people died there last Sunday. Stay with us, we have the details. So on Sunday, some 19 people died at the Kintampo waterfall. Ghana has been mourning over the deaths. While the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, in consultation with the Bono Ahafi Regional Security Council, has ordered the indefinite closure of the Kintampo waterfall. The ministry says that this is to ensure proper scrutiny of the place and prevent further occurrences like what just happened on Sunday. Uh The Bunua Hafu region has denied reports by a chief in that area that the takeover of the tourist facility by some people believed to be supporters of the new patriotic party might have contributed to the freak accident over the weekend. Well, yesterday, the chief of Trimankuma, Nana Ifagwakro, told City News Daily that tour guides who could have won Revelers in the midst of the storm have been sacked by NPP supporters who took over the facility after last year's pose. Uh, but the NPP's Deputy Regional Secretary Kofi Ofosubwaten told City News that the claims by the chief are unfortunate. So yesterday we brought you a story on President Kufuado who is in far away Switzerland speaking to the Ghanaian community there. Well, today he's been speaking and he says he's aware of the high expectations of Ghanaians for him to make things right in the country. Nanado says the new patriotic party's overwhelming victory in the December polls has placed a burden on him to meet the expectations of Ghanaians. Now, speaking to the Ghanaian community in Switzerland, the president said it's a challenge for him and his team of ministers to meet the many expectations of Ghanaians. Now, let's take you to the central region of Ghana because residents of the Kaswa Millennium City in that region say that they are living in fear because of several robbery attacks there. Now, the Millennium City Estate is one of the biggest estates in the Gomwa East constituency in that region. It is located off the main Kaswa Nyanyadu Road. Now, the residents told us daily that if the robbery incidents are still happening. Today, an Accra High Court found the former Executive Secretary of the Narcotics Control Board, Akrisi Sapon, guilty of contempt after he condemned the court for granting bail to drug suspects in an ongoing case. Well, Mr. Akresi Sapon openly disagreed with the court after it granted bail to one Chief Ikechiku, a 53-year-old businessman and his alleged accomplice, James Chiku, 47, a second-hand clothes dealer in Accra, who were accused of smuggling cocaine into the country. The businessman was arrested and remanded in 2013. But the NACO boss, unhappy with the bill, is quoted to have said that the terms of the bill were very unfortunate. That's how we we'll wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pell Akanya Ofori. From the crew, we say thanks for your time. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1243. 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.